Hey guys, just got home from work and I found this package in my mailbox. I've been waiting for this for a little bit now, uh, a couple days. This is from Bismuth17 on Reddit. And this should be a Multilock Junior and a Medico Cam. Let's see if we can't get in here. Bring some goodies out of there. Okay. Box is empty. There we go. Multilock Junior. New in the box. With keys. Works perfectly. It's actually a pretty nice little set. There's all kinds of stuff in here. There's a, a couple of different tail pieces, some screws, a little. Is that a security card? That's a security card. There's a security card in the bottom. That's pretty neat. Uh, there we go. So, and of course a rim, a rim for the rim cylinder. Fits on there nice, looks really pretty. Okay. And the other one. <laughs> I really like these multi-locks, they're so cool. And the, uh, the other one here is a Medico switch lock, 65 series switch lock. Uh, looks like a five pinner and works nice. Got a really strong spring on there. That'll that'll make it interesting for uh, picking it. I just just bear with me a moment. I want to see. I'm gonna try to pick the multi lock on camera here, but I just want to see what's under this little switch lock piece here. Hope I don't break anything. <laughs> I'm just mostly curious to see if this is guttable. Um, well, you know, it sure does not appear to be. Yeah. I guess this can't be gutted. So, unless I pop out that little retainer tab right there, whatever that is, it's held in with a couple of crimps. Well, I'll have to look that up and see if there's anything I can do about that. For now, we'll just set these pieces aside, and we're going to try to pick this multi-lock on camera right out of the box. All right, there we go. Get a little camera angle action going. I apologize for the glaring bright reflection of my lights off of that shiny golden face of this multi-lock. Okay, we're gonna go, I guess, counterclockwise. Okay, right away I'm getting a binder. It feels like pin two. Okay, I feel like I got him. Okay, pin, feels like pin four, little click out of him, pin five, little click out of him, and he's solid, so I'm going to leave him alone, pin three is binding, maybe, okay, little click there, Okay, I feel like I overset something. I wasn't getting any feedback on anything, so I just released a little bit of tension. I think that's what I overset right there. I think I just did it again. Okay. Pin 2 is definitely binding. Okay, I got a little tiny turn on the core there. A little click out of four and a little turn. A little click out of five and a little turn. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, a little click out of three, it felt like. I'm stuck. Okay. Three's giving me some counter rotation. I feel like I just got him. Two must have fallen back down. He's giving me some counter rotation now. Oh. Might have got him. I just spun the pick all the way around in the keyway. Wow. Nope, I just turned the lock back to fully locked though. So yippee. I must have just been caught on the warding. Okay, so we're going to start over. Pin 2, pin 3 is binding on me a little bit. Okay, a little click there. A little click out of 4. Tiny little click out of five, but I'm going to leave him alone. Little click out of three. Little click out of one. Two fell back down. There we go. Okay. Trying to get under pin five. It feels like he's wanting to rotate, counter rotate a little bit. So, okay. I feel like we're making progress, hopefully. Just heard a loud click. I don't know what that was, but it didn't feel like I set anything, so I think I dropped something. Gotta release a tiny little bit of tension because getting no feedback. Okay. Feels like a little counter rotation on five, and I got a little click. Okay, had a little something and a little turn on the core there. Okay, a little bit more of a turn on the core. I keep waiting for pin one to bind, but he doesn't want to. Oh, little counter rotation. I'm going to try and set it from the other side because I might just be hitting the warding again. I don't want to lose everything again. So, if I turn the same direction I'm tensioning, I don't feel like I'll un unset it. Okay, we'll go back to the inside. I've got a little turn on the core here. Oh no. Oh, well, whatever just happened, that doesn't feel like it's wrong. Went into a little bit of a deeper false set and pin one is binding now for sure. He feels like a spool. He's giving me some counter rotation. Let's see if I can get him. Wow, he's really high.
Come on. Work with me. Ah, oh, I'm so timid. He's either a really high spool, he's a really high something for sure. He does not want to go. Let's see if I can get under him from the other side. Okay. Ooh, nice and deep. I'm on inner pins for sure. Alrighty. Okay, I don't feel anything binding. Oh, wait. There we go. There's something. All the way at the back. Feels like pin five. And there it is. He's open. There you go, you can see. Oh, sorry. You can see the lock is turning. We'll lock it back up and we'll do the gutting. Sweet. Oh, wait a second on that key, actually. Let's grab these guys. It's great that there's multiple tail pieces in here because they might work for the other multi-lock I have which doesn't have a tail piece. So it'd be nice if these will fit. And I actually have a key for this one. Okay, so we'll just push everything out this way. Okay, that one's stuck. The inner pin. Inner pin popped down on me a little bit. There we go. Okay, leave that there in frame. Sorry. Alrighty. Put this here. Bring our core up here. These are really cool little locks, man gotta tell you. Okay, pin one, inner outer, pin two, inner outer. Pin three, inner outer with a little serration on the bottom. Oh, it looks like they all actually have a little serration on the bottom. Pin four is a mushroom. Mushroom to keep in. And pin five. I just shot the inner pin across my desk. Pin five, inner and outer. There we go. There's the core, nothing special. No anti drill. <laughs> Little piece of lint on there. Alright, we're gonna set that there and we'll do the uppers. I wonder if these are gonna have those crazy giant springs again. Oh, nice big neat looking spool I've never seen that spool on one get a standard on number two and it's got these big old springs again so I'm gonna pull the springs out as I go and we got a, another spool on three those are really cool man that's another spool on four And another spool on five. What a beast. Okay, we'll get that last spring out of there. There shouldn't be any modifications to the cylinder. It's brand new in the box. It looks unmodified. Perfect. Okay, so here is what we're looking at. Let's give you a little close-up action on these. There you go. We've got drivers, 
Driver number two is a standard. Drivers number one and then three through five are um, spooled, which is really cool looking. Um, and then key pins one, two, and three have a small serration on the bottom, and four and five are mushroom. So there we go. Multi lock junior picked, gutted. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If anybody uh, has any advice for me on picking these things faster, other than just practice. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys.